Thanks. Uh, this is the year of uh, Ray Seminary, and uh, uh, all of you in the FTI, I'm told, learned film appreciation through Professor Sadish Vadur, who was a professor of uh, uh, film appreciation. He he has this yeoman role in you know creating a new film culture in India by not only training you people, but uh, people who went there for that one year, one month uh, uh, course. Film appreciation course, so it was like uh, like something a study material. Ray was made into a study material uh, to showcase how a film has to be appreciated, or that was the classic film which he projected. Uh, how was that whole process? You know, you attended his classes. How was this whole process? What was the first film which he showed? Padhe Panchali or other films? Uh. Thank you, Charyan, for inviting me to share my thoughts with you on uh, Bahadur sir. Let me start with you know I am a great admirer of uh, Bahadur sir, and I think that he has not received his due when he was alive. And uh, he was a great teacher. I still remember his I don't you know pipe and uh, you know rolled up self rolled uh, cigarette you know when he will be smoking and his actions and his hair you know like that and uh, uh, i still remember his kurtas the way he would be you know uh, his uh, sleeves will be you know folded and kept all that i remember colors colors of his kurtas i remember so uh, being said that i joined in 79 1979 that was already around 20 years Uh, from you know the start of the institute, yeah. but I know that uh, Mary Satan was uh, you know instrumental in bringing uh, you know Sadish Bahadur sir to uh, Pune and uh, making him take up this uh, huge responsibility of uh, teaching uh, cinema to you know Indian uh, people. So. there was uh, at that time in i think uh, when it started all this is started obviously with the political uh, heads at that time was helpful in disseminating the knowledge of cinema and they considered cinema as a socially relevant uh, art form so that is why all this is happened you know nowadays things are going the other way uh, you know look at uh, you know artistic expressions anymore they think of it as more of disturbance yeah so Just this was out. not the yeah. uh, time time you know, when they have started so yeah. obviously there was limited material available at that time and uh, ray was in the limelight and uh, internationally recognized and he was the you know first master from indian cinema industry so it was natural like suppose for uh, uh, sub, um, you know sadish bahadur sir to pick up uh, padher panjali and obviously mary satan was a great admirer of uh, satyajit ray she would have you know suggested that you take up uh, these films because they were uh, though the, uh, the the art house films if i say so uh, or the alternate films of uh the indian new wave when it, it just beginning so the sensibility of the indian new wave was uh, rooted in uh, you know european uh, cinema history and uh, it was without any you know i you know i always feel that you know to divide mm-hmm. cinema into european indian asian and all that is also a 
wrong idea because cinema is truly international language and uh, cultural uh, you know uniqueness will be there for each uh, yes. you know yes. Uh, yes. expression so yeah. now how did he bring in the officer gadur how did he bring in this whole thing because when you go there you are you you have a structured you know educational program and you are subjected to that so how did he bring in this you know appreciation film appreciation and padar panjali and ray into this whole uh, you know so i know this focus is on to you know uh, ray films but um, you know he was not only showing ray films but uh, predominantly from the fiction feature film he would be uh, you know showing ray films not by you know just one day show it and describe that but uh, he will you know pick up say charlada then uh, it, it will be you know scene by scene analysis of the uh, the story structure the conflicts in it and then uh, he will analyze the build up of each sequences and then come to scenes then go by shot by shot so uh, one study of one film may you know, you know extend for two months you know that will be so elaborate yeah so that way then the, it every time it will be projected scene by scene it will be projected and right. you know when we he is talking about frames he will make drawings on the blackboard then there was only blackboard okay. so he will make it with chalk and the drawings timelines structure plot development lines all this kind of detail thing and i still remember no this uh, i used to collect it all he had this um, you know at that time cyclo style was there with the drum you know the paper is moved and uh, yeah. the ink uh, with the uh, with the smell of the ink the paper comes to you and uh, every class uh, he would give this uh, you know uh, lesson notes for okay. students which would be describing basically on what he will be talking in the class so it was a very elaborate scheme and uh, he continued to do it throughout our course you know for two years so okay so, uh, so i i am told uh, his you know he was so enamored by padar panjali and charulata that that was you know his his whole discussions you know geared around the, these two rape you know, is, is that true he has a soft corner for ray and uh, his films but he was equally you know telling us about all short films you know the basic structure of cinema was yeah. uh, always taught through short films mm. so you know incident at old creek padedu or uh, many 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 i have seen all this excellent short films in his class only so actually that was the films that were the, more than fiction films these were the films which opened up the possibility of uh, cinema language so that was a wonderful thing he did and uh, you know thanks to again thanks to pk nair sir who had this wonderful collection uh, from all over the world and he you know nair sir also collected extremely uh, you know good uh, short films from all over the world also you know that uh, animation films you know, you know the, the hand it, it's still very uh, you know relevant you know uh, one hand and a potter trying to make a pot and uh, it is an animation film clay animation yes a tree is uh, planted and the, uh, the flower is blooming and uh, but a hand comes always you know destroys it when we joined it was uh, very relevant you know with the political situation just after the emergency this film looked so yeah. very relevant yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> so that, yeah. that way and uh, the films you know the obviously you know uh, yeah. in his discussions yeah. whether it is for their monthly and uh, mm-hmm. or chat how, how or, what is it you know i have i have heard uh, comments like uh, ray himself uh, after hearing about uh, professor bazu's assessment of uh, padar panchali or other films he used to wonder that i never thought that uh, you know i was uh, so then, he, he, you know he you know um, what i meant is that professor sadish bhadur's analysis was so detailed you know in the classes that uh, you know for instance can you describe some of the things which he said about uh, let's say father panjali father panjali was 
first film of uh, Ray. And Ray himself had said that he had very many issues making it. But it, you know, it 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 stands out even today. You know, as you said, the BFI. No, if, is, if, if, if one look at Father Panjali, you know, that I always say this, you know, the technical, uh, you know, if you, Ray himself said, you know, the first half is not so tight or second half is not so tight. It could have, you know, a little more well edited and all. He himself says it. Hmm. So, but that film is one from the heart, you know, and uh, you know what what is conveyed more than any analytical thing, you know, through from Sadish Bhagadur is his passion for cinema, and that passion is communicated, and that passion is something which, as a student, I had to develop to look at these different cinemas with conviction and passion and uh, see meaning in it and uh, you know, kind of um, stand for those films you know those okay. that at that time it is you know mainstream commercial film i'm not against it but mainstream commercial cinema is the only film which is you know celebrated in the media so uh, you know so these were necessary and uh, uh, probably you know as i said earlier you know if uh, other films sustain you know our classroom theater we mostly projected 16 mm prints and uh, uh, the, the, if more films were available of course at that time um, you know i am saying about when he started he would have you know try, and even to analyze and study one or two films in such detail is a lifetime work so yeah. it is not easy to yeah. <laughs> pick yeah. up yeah. you know when a hundred film and study that in the, such detail that will yeah. not be possible no one you know what is the module like let's say on Pader panchali or Karulada, what was it he was let's say uh, he was concentrating on the whole total film or some of the characters or some of the sequences so no, what is it like I, I already told you know yeah. that uh, he will uh, go into every aspect of it mm. not only mm. the character development story uh, plot structure conflicts mm -hmm. uh, you know each sequence how is it leading to the next uh, you know conflict mm -hmm. uh, how something is resolution you know resolution is done and uh, rhythm of the film in okay. terms of editing um, how music is used mm -hmm. um, you know, every aspect of the film whichever way you can think of it he will talk about it so, okay. uh, the, so I, it, it, you know, it, it is so intrinsically organic that I can't separate it. You know, like what? But as when you ask me, I can say this, this, this. But I remember it as a holistic experience. Yeah. So, and uh, I think that is the fundamentally the best thing about his teaching. You no, know, he is uh, putting the film into your heart, and not as a technical analysis. So you start to love this, you know, the medium, the cinema, uh, you know, all that. So that is more important. You know, what happens today is, uh, I was taking a you know, webinar class for teachers and students. Mm. It, it, it is all become you know, job oriented. Mm. Uh, there are syllabus in the university classes now about cinema, so they want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So they want just information about uh, talk, to talk about cinema in their class. Mm -hmm. It's not passion. Yeah. So I uh, know that is bad. Mm -hmm. So so it is like he he is the one uh, who used these films to 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 organically grow a passion for cinema in the students. That's what he yeah. did with this. Undoubtedly. Yeah, he did that, and that is the biggest, uh, you know, contribution of Sadish Bhagdur sir. And I, I followed him, you know, even when after graduating in '83, every time I went back, I went to his home, uh, or uh, you know, we would sit in a tea shop, have a tea, talk about, uh, you know, cinema. We tried to do, you know, more things or you know, organizing things and all that. But so till the last, um, I think a year before his death, I met him last. But even at that time, he was uh, very, uh, you know, energetic and uh, wanting to do something. And uh, uh, you know, it, it was 
really uh, such amazing teachers are no more existing that is a sorry part of it um, yeah uh, but you know so i was uh, uh, you know writing my book on the film society history i you know uh, adur pushed me into into looking at sadish vardhus you know contribution in film appreciation and of course his film society in uh, uh, agra agra you know st john's college i am told he is the first one in, who introduced this concept of uh, giving a synopsis and some you know some assessment about the film before it is shown so that you know film society people can discuss the film after the screening you know yeah that is, that is true you know that is that was is, it was it the same thing which he did in the classes yeah he would give more detailed notes okay i still have those uh, notes with yeah. me that he is but it's, it's very unfortunate i am told you know we did a uh, we did try to collect all these things uh, mm -hmm. his notes into a book but it's unfortunate that it does not come out as a book you know uh, yeah, yeah. so that uh, universities and people uh, interested in that mm -hmm. could uh, you know follow it read it up and uh, get the same kind of experience which you all of course it is li something live is different but at least read it you know what was he trying to communicate i think we will still have a go at it uh, one more thing is that uh, what are the you know looking back how important was film appreciation uh, classes there in developing a you know your own vision of film making no any art form one needs to know the history so uh, you know uh, we got the history of cinema through film appreciation classes and we saw the varied different kind of films from all over the world in the film appreciation class so every screening in the night also was uh, related to film appreciation so in that sense the biggest uh, lectures we got in uh, pune was uh or this film appreciation classes you know not only you know sadish bandur's uh, class there were others coming in interactions with uh, great uh, you know filmmakers and all those kind of thing and uh, then uh, you know uh, even uh, you know i don't know you must have heard of that you know holy day we will have a whole night uh, you know song festival from all kind of films uh, we will cut, cut songs only and uh, six hour long uh, song only session you know okay so that gives you the indian uh, mindset you know how song and dance in indian film industry is working okay so and uh, once in a year uh, you know figures are even used to show all the censor cuts so okay. whatever censor board has cut He, you know it is collected and kept in the in uh, okay. no, archives yeah. so once in a year we will show all those cuts to the uh, you know uh, students and it is the most funniest thing ever you know <laughs> watch because you wonder why they are cut it you know? yeah. so yeah. The, it is really really funny yeah, yeah. and also then you know i i remember that you went there first uh, as you know that one one month film appreciation course is it not yeah. yes yeah. yes how was that experience compared to is it an you know capsule form of what you went through in four or five year you know three or four years in fti uh, i should say yes uh, mm -hmm. you know because uh, before going to the institute i was also conducting a uh, short one week film appreciation courses and all that you know i was projecting i was talking you yeah. know people are you know invited they would come so already i from my plus two time onwards i was reading film books so i had all some you know you know introduction to world cinema when i joined and i only have heard of this so in that one month course when i saw this all films which i have you know learned studied only it was great and uh, um, you know that uh, i realized you no know, i tell that the biggest lesson uh, fti teach to you uh, is that you are a world citizen you know yes. it makes it makes you look at the world as one 
beyond the every borders okay. so that is what cinema in pune taught me okay. so i am trying to you know convey that uh, understanding of cinema to others in all my uh, you know interactions so okay. that is where i now this is what um, you know the unity of um, you know humanity hmm. great films always talk about it and uh, yeah. sadish bagadur was always emphasizing that okay uh, how this uh, no that we get it you know how does these thoughts come from our teachers only so uh, you know from the things which we saw in the institute obviously we learned a great lot of technical aspects of it you know how to light up how to set light a studio set all that is there good exposure how to make it but beyond that cinema has taught us something more and that i value the biggest achievement of uh, film institute okay so now how does you know you are also teaching in uh, uh, kernaren institute in uh, kottayam in kerala it's a government film institute uh, in the name of uh, former president k r narayan so how does this what you learn the pedagogy are you uh, are, uh, are, uh, is applied in your institute now no it, it, it will no, you cannot do that because uh, the the raw material which comes to you are different you know it, it is not the the mindset of the new students are entirely different and uh, you have to approach it in a better you know different way not better or lesser so in a different way because uh, fundamentally i think that uh, uh, these people have uh, developed their uh, moving image sensibility through television viewing only all the students yeah. so their idea of cinema is television that is a fundamentally big difference mm. no we you and me have developed our idea of cinema in a the cinema theater yes and that is an entirely different experience yes so when they of course they continuously watch television in their homes they see the serials or whatever uh, films comes in the tv and that is their reference point yeah and to break them out of it is quite a difficult thing so their sensibility is tuned to the small screen aesthetics yeah. so that uh, one has to do something else to break that and uh, obviously uh, uh, the you know the factor of money which is uh, these days a great uh, element in to measure success is also guiding the students you know they all uh, primarily want to make money Okay. and uh, you know I, I, nothing wrong with it yes <laughs> everybody wants to make money, money. and uh, you know so uh, but even uh, and the since all the people here you know see take the malayalam film industry now the you know all the you know, mainstream film makers or even the art house film makers currently in vogue mm-hmm. is uh, you know it's not film school products right yeah yeah so people even develop that kind of an idea why should we go to you know what is there to learn learn obviously yeah. all of them have learned themselves yeah. <laughs> they spend yeah. a lot of time seeing films and uh, meeting uh, other people to you know get the information so yeah. in fact during my you know conversation with others uh, they say that sadhijit ray since it's race centenary let's do a tribute on him sadhijit ray was essentially my in fact my professor friend uh, from calcutta said he was a, he was he never thought he will be become a film maker but he was a good film student you know he's seeing films then renuva came to calcutta and that changed the whole lot of people because that gave an idea of yes i can do it then he went to europe and so you know in uh, three months or uh, five months he saw 90 films you know and yeah. you know post war films like bicycle thieves uh, stood you know stayed with him i think B- bfi you know he went there in an on an assignment as a ad film maker oh, yeah. copywriter and designer yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, at that 
time only he was able to you know, see these films. And the Renoir thing is even interesting because of his job, he could only join the location at on Sundays. First the shoot, you know, because uh, you know, actually uh, that is where they uh, he met Subrata Dada also. Yes. So you know, because Subrata Dada was attending every day. And uh, you, know, you know, Ray could because of the job he could only go Sundays. Yeah. So uh, then Subrata Dada was asked to he himself wanted to do it to elaborate uh, records of uh, lighting diagrams and all that. And uh, so th all this and you know, he observed it and uh, uh, there was a scene was to reshoot and of course uh, you know that uh, crew. Then referred back to Subrata Mitra's uh, you know, drawings to redo that, okay. and obviously that you know and end up uh, Subrata Mitra. You may know this also. The title music, uh, the sitar piece is composed and played by Subrata Mitra. Okay. So and uh, some of the you know uh, uh, memorable uh, sitar pieces in Padar uh, Panjali is also played by uh, Subrata Mitra. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was told that uh, Ravi, Pandit Ravi Shankar was always in a hurry, so they had to catch up with uh, him, you know, so whatever is available with him. So, and it was, uh, you know, obviously, you know, nobody, you know, in terms of uh, perfection and uh, the, you know, right way of, you know, writing, uh, editing, uh, lighting, or, uh, one's film, you know. Ray was the master in that. Uh, that is no doubt. And uh, every film of his is a test book. Mm -hmm. So people would, uh, you know, learn it. And uh, obviously, there, uh, you know, uh, people have different tastes. And you know, somebody may like some other kind of films. But language of cinema remains the same, whatever it is. You know, even in an experimental cinema, mm -hmm. you need to have that language of cinema. You no, know? it is. You cannot, uh, you know. Completely discard that and uh, yeah. make a film. You know, even if you know you see more and more. You know, these days uh, uh, single short films are very popular. Yeah. Uh, long take. Uh, no, but even uh, those were the you know. If you know the history, you know that you are not new. But yes. people yeah. think that they are, they are some, doing something revolutionary. Yeah, it is no, like uh, the sing sound I heard. You know, Ramachandra yeah. Babu sir was telling me, uh, "Look, uh, what is this? All this thing about sing sound? We used in Vidyarthi like John's first film. He said we didn't have money, so we had to do economize on everything. So yeah. it is, you know, <laughs> and people the jump cuts uh, which he did. All all studio films were sing sound. Yes, yes, that's a, that a, that is controllable. Uh, so yeah. one last thing. How do you, you know, what's as a filmmaker and uh, you know, film teacher, what, how do you, how, what is it you have to say about Ray in his centenary year? Uh, I should become a little poetic. <laughs> yes. the, you know, you, the, can. <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, the, uh, I remember, you know, seeing uh, a system of print of Padar Panjali, much before I go to uh, Film Institute uh, in, uh, you know, I went to see uh, Isaac Thomas Kutra play in Pale and there was a screening of Padar Panjali at that time. Okay. And I stayed back and uh, saw the film. And probably that is the first time I am seeing Padar Panjali. And I felt that, you know, it is so heartwarming, you know, and it talks about um, the, you know, direct issues of human existence and uh, uh, to uh, to me that probably one of the first films which showed me that you know, cinema can talk about human beings you know and uh, their problems and uh, that is a great that was a great experience almost a spiritual experience i must say because uh, when you see the death of the grandmother and uh, when you see them you know uh, finally uh, you know, leaving the village you know uh, your mind, you know, you know, also, you know, kind of travel with them. So that is, and uh, it is not easy to achieve that. An artist to take us to follow the his character yeah. is not very easy. Obviously, of course, mainstream cinema. You have a star. Everybody will follow the star. You know, that is a different uh, question. But 
to take and raise the very finest filmmaker who talked about human uh, predicaments, uh, the you know uh, happiness and sorrows of uh, humanity. You know, I don't think his films as only as the, the great Indian model, Indian model of Indian cinema, but it is universal. So, you know, what you know, more than you know, somebody saying, you know, uh, Kurosawa saying that if you have not seen race films, you haven't seen cinema. <laughs> so, what more you can ask for? Ask for you know? That's yeah. the best way to conclude. I think uh, Ray and uh, Professor Dardur, that generation, as uh, was great teachers for all of us to know what's a good film and uh, 